Yeah, a couple pointers. But it's another step. Thank you. How impactful was Bennett on your decision to come to Oregon? I mean, did he recruit you heavily? Did you kind of just see from his time here that it was a, a good program? How big of an impact did he have? I mean, a huge impact. You know, you, you see somebody like him, somebody, I mean, that's been a role model for you your whole life, and you just see how, how highly he speaks of the program, the culture that's being created, and just, yeah, what, what they're creating every day. And so, you know, just hearing that feedback, um, we're always texting, always communicating. Um, so just hearing that feedback and, and knowing that this was a place that, you know, you'd have people that surrounded you that want to see you succeed. You have a bunch of resources for, for you to do just that. Um, yeah, just just having that assurance from him uh, definitely helped. In this well, take us into that process a little bit because it wasn't just a matter of choosing to come here. Like, I think from afar, the thought was that you were going to the NFL. Uh, uh, yeah. come back to college. So, like, what was the whole process of choosing to come back to school in general and then here versus wherever else you're considering? Yeah, um, I, I feel like I just wanted my last year to – I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I kind of wanted to just, you know, ride off into the sunset. Um, and, I mean, that, that's what anybody would want. And, you know, the injury early in the season kind of – it was a setback for me. And, you know, I just felt like I hadn't – shown my best for the for the end of that, that season um, hadn't put my best on film and I felt like if I was given another opportunity you know um, especially at a place like this you know with the resources that is going to give you everything you can to succeed um, I feel like I, I had a had a chance to step up level up the draft stock and just learn from you know the great coaches here the great teammates that I've met and just establish these connections so yeah, it wasn't an easy decision by any means, but um, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad I made it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm here, and I'm extremely thankful just for my entire support staff that you know helped me get here, and you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. So, what yeah. was the the portal experience like? How quickly did, did it move for you to, to pick here? Yeah, um, it, it was pretty fast, honestly, for me. Uh, it, it seems like almost kind of an unknown to like if you haven't been in it before like I was getting texts all the time how does it work what, what do you do I mean it's just some paperwork uh, pretty pretty simple um, <laughs> at the end of the day but yeah but my, my experience was, was pretty fast I think I was only in for two weeks and came and got to see um, yeah as I said just the, the support staff that they have here the opportunity to build something great with a, a bunch of great guys and um, I was sold so how many schools contacted you? Quite a few, yeah. Um, Florida, Florida State. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, there's a quite a few. Washington, Washington State. Most of the Pac-12 are Arizona State. Um, just to name a few. Overwhelming. But yeah, it, I mean, it, it was. You, you got coaches trying to contact you from all directions. Um, coaches, yeah, at Washington, like coaches that uh, helped me um, at, at Fresno State trying to get into contact so it was a little overwhelming you know to start but uh it kind of settled down and just you know had those conversations with yourself people you love your family um and found my priorities got them straight and i, I ended up in the right place you can certainly see a lot of production a lot of game film highlights and stuff of your career it's been several years but describe yourself for fans who haven't necessarily seen it by way of you view yourself as a box safety you view yourself as a field safety i mean you're built a little bit differently than your brother who's sure. much more of a box guy and nickel guy so how do you kind of be yourself and feel yourself? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't like to put too many labels on it. If I had to say one word, it would probably just be a, a hybrid. You know, somebody that you throw out there can fit in any puzzle piece that you need and just uh, is out there to make plays. Um, yeah, and I, I, you know, I pride myself too on being able to come up, fit the run, uh, make some crucial tackles if necessary, and also if I'm in the post, you know, man to man, where, wherever you need me. Um, I feel like I'm I'm pretty versatile in, in those aspects. So, yeah, I, I think uh, just the the Duck family is is getting somebody that's just a hard worker and, and willing to willing to do whatever it takes to win. Kind of on a similar note, fans obviously know Bennett very well. How are you similar? How are you different? Maybe from a personality stand, standpoint, less than a on the field. Yeah, uh, man, that's a great question. He's, he's probably a little more just like outgoing and energetic like he, he gets energy from people he needs to go out and like he seeks that I'm, I'm a little more introverted but you know I'm just I mean I love you know talking to him just as much as the next guy um, 
But yeah, that, that's probably the main difference. Uh, we definitely share the love of football. I mean, we, we've both been around it since we were a kid, and he helped me definitely in, in that aspect. You know, um, you see him, you know, doing his thing pretty early on, and you know, I wanted to follow right in his footsteps. So I could thank him for for getting me started. But yeah, I'd say he's probably a little more extroverted, but uh, not too much. And um, no, I, I love him for it. And. I mean, you guys love him for it too. He was a great personality here, and you know, he left a great legacy here. So, um, being able to, to follow in his legacy has been a, a great thing. Who's the who's the harder hitter between you two? <laughs> Don't tell him, but yeah, he's gotta, sure I gotta go with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. You guys ever hit each other? No, no. Uh, we we played in varsity. I got brought up as a sophomore. I didn't play that much, um, and when we played each other, Oregon Fresno State, I never got to go against him. Um, besides, on like he was on punt and I was on punt return, we had like a couple plays. I was just talking smack, you know. Time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, just talking a little smack, going back and forth. I might have given a little show, but um, nothing too crazy. How do you balance the role? I mean, you're a, a new guy on this team, but you're also a veteran. How do you kind of balance that role of being a veteran voice and a leader in the locker room, but still kind of feeling out, you know, your, your new surroundings? Yeah, uh, I'm definitely understanding that, you know, it's going to be a learning curve um, for me. I'm not going to understand everything right off the jump. And so I'm giving myself, you know, that area to make those mistakes. Um, um, yeah, just, just to, to learn and understand that it's going to be a process. But I mean, also something that Coach Landing has stressed since the start. He's, He's been saying he wants my, you know, wants me to speak up when when it's time. I have, you know, as he said, some experience um, in college football. Um, understand kind of just how the, the process works, and so um, yeah, he, he he feels like I should be able to, you know, just give some words of wisdom um, to people that haven't been through it or are going through it for the first time. And um, yeah, I, I'm stepping into that role. You know, it's a little difficult because you don't know everything yet. You want to have a great sense, like a great grasp of, of everything you're talking about. But I feel like I can help just from, you know, like a student athlete perspective, uh, somebody that has been doing this for four years, understands, you know, just the, how things go and um, kind of just try to provide a little more mentorship um, for some younger guys. Yeah, this might be hard for you to put a gauge on, but in, how different is the locker room in like 2023 now where there's so many transfers and, and so many new people versus maybe like even when, you, when you started? Like, th does it feel like you're joining like a group here that was already doing something or does it feel like it, like it's a new start for kind of everyone each year? Yeah, it's a, a little different in uh, that aspect. You know, there's you got people coming from a bunch of different places, different um, spots in the country. Um, but I feel like the, just the sense of culture, my brother told me about it, but just the sense of culture that Coach Landing is consistently trying to create. Um, honestly, I stepped in, I was nervous for like the first week and then it just felt like a family, like honestly. Just, um, I mean, they knew my brother, most of the, my teammates knew my brother, so they already had a pretty positive outlook. Um, and so, yeah, just being able to, to bond with the guys and just how accepting they are. They, they accepted me with open arms. Um, and yeah, I'm proud to, to call these guys a family. What, what were you most nervous about? I don't know. I mean, uh, the, the new environment, you know, everything's just unfamiliar. Um, I wouldn't say nervous, but you're just stepping into a whole new place and uh, you got to get accustomed really fast. Um, and, you know, Coach Landing is stressing on you to be a leader and you're like, how do I do that? Uh, so, I mean, it's, a, it's a, a whole process, a whole bunch of things, but you know, I've been able to, I feel recently as I'm getting more confident, been able to, you know, step into that leadership role a little better. Tell us a little bit about just working with Coach Hampton and that, I mean, you committed here before he was hired, yeah. so, I mean, clearly you were sold on landing and deploying and everything else, but I mean, working with your position coach and what that's been like the last couple of months. Yeah, no, it, it's been great. Um, coach Hamp is a, a character and he, he loves his football, so we definitely share that and um, meetings are, I mean, just open enough. I mean, he keeps it light and energetic and, you know, he's cracking jokes the whole time. So it's a, a healthy learning environment, I feel like. And, um, but as you mentioned, yeah, Coach LePoy, Coach Landing, I just knew, or I mean, for my brother a little bit and just from talking to them, how just great football minds they are and how much they care about, you know, developing their athletes past just a football field as men and, and installing those characteristics and you know all the people that pass through this program. And so, yeah, that, that's kind of what I cared about more than anything. You want to, to 
I mean, learn from somebody that's going to teach you the values you want that's going to, you know, set you for the rest of your life. And so, yeah, those are two guys that, that definitely um, helped me in my decision, and Coach Hamp has been, has been great for us. Are you cross-training a fair amount between the safety positions and the box? Are you Around a lot um, about one spot? I'm mostly staying high right now. Um, yeah, I haven't played too much star at all, but I'm, we're playing side, so I'll play field and boundary, um, mix it up. But we'll see if they throw me in at star. I mean, uh, I haven't had any word that they're going to, but um, I'll, I'll fit in if, if they need me to. Yeah. So. How long does it, How long does it take you just in the process to? build that more on-field chemistry of not just knowing communication, but also like working with a guy like Addison who's been here for six years and working with like four different defenses. All right, how long does it actually take you to feel like you're completely on the same page with, with the guy you're in the, the backfield? I mean, I think I always feel like I have room to grow just in that I'm, I mean, I'm, I've only been here for what, three months. And so I'm still picking up the playbook just like anybody else. And so he has a, a probably a better grasp. So when he needs to help me, he'll help me. And sometimes he doesn't know a call and I'm able to, to fit. And so, and I think what helps us most is honestly just our, our connection. Um, we've stressed that, I mean, since, I don't know, years ago, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, just, just that sense of connection in the locker room and knowing that guy's got your back, even if he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, um, and that kind of trust, uh, that, that mutual connection, uh, it just shows on the field. It, it makes it a lot easier to, to know somebody and, and trust that somebody's going to do their job and so that I can execute what I'm doing to, you know, the full effect. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you guys. Nice to meet you.